Well, good day and welcome to a new edition of Triple Chips. Unbox the box. Where today we're going to be featuring, it's the Mastercraft wet tile saw. It's a four and a half inch blade, 3.5 amps, three position tilting blade, adjustable work fence, and it's got the four and a half inch diamond tip tile cutting blade. Now you can see this box is pretty old. I, my three year warranty is probably up. I've never opened it. But I'm currently renovating my bathroom, so uh, I'm going to be showing you what you get with this one. You might be able to still find it out at some Canadian Tire, possibly, or something close on Amazon. But the closest thing I can find on Canadian Tire is, is this one right here. It's a 7-inch saw. That's the closest thing they have to it now, and it is it goes for... Let's pull up the specs here. It goes for $149.99. So I'm kind of thinking I probably only paid maybe $60, $70. If I find any further details, I'll leave it somewhere on the screen in this video. But I'll just show you what you get with this one. And if you want to see the saw in action, just go over to my other channel. I'll leave a, a video link at the end. It's going to show you it's on my Triple Chip Adventures blogs. Where I'm currently doing my shower slash tub. I'm doing some... Uh, Porcelain tile. We'll just show you what you get in the box. Never taken this thing out of here ever. This one was just ripped. This thing. The box is pretty well falling apart. You know, it got a little wet. I had a pipe burst downstairs here last year, and the box got all wet. So. Get your guide in here on how to work it. But I watch enough YouTube videos to know how to work this now, so let's set that off to the side over there. Get this out of here. So make sure you don't throw this away. You got some uh, pieces in the sand here. Got some other tools on this side too. We'll just put it down here for now. So it looks like what you first get here is uh, like some adjustable legs in here. Let's get those out. Looks like the thing for it's going to cover your saw. call this but that's what lines up your tile so when you want to do the cut it's going to keep it nice and straight so we'll just leave that for now too and your legs are simply just going to screw in it's ready to go into there hmm that's kind of odd those things those to be adjustable legs but let's have, let's have a quick look in the manual here where those go on it and you got a pretty long cord with it too like you get a tool for tightening up your saw actually here I'll just unravel it and show you guys how long the... I thought it was just gonna be a short little cord and there's actually a place to tuck your cord into the bottom here when you're not using it just stick it back here but that's what you get here Really long. So you're getting probably a good six to eight feet cord, but that will be your tool for tightening up your saw blade. Let's just see where those little pegs go in. Let's have a quick look in here. Oh, those are the fence knobs. They don't even actually go on the bottom. Those aren't legs at all. That piece that I was showing you just a second ago, that's called your fence. So we'll just flip the saw over. Let's leave this little guide out for Okay, 
Okay, and then you have a surge protector here in case it trips. Your on off switch. And this is where you're going to put your water into here. You always want to make sure you got it cool for you when you're cutting through your tile. And you got built in measuring tapes on the side here also. So it looks like this just goes your saw blades there. This just looks like this slides on to here. Maybe the other way. That's like really tight there. I'll just be right I'll be right back. I just gotta check this out. Be right back with you. Okay, and we're back. I figured out you gotta make sure the arrow is at this end. So that's just by the power button here. Then this will easily slide back and forth. But to keep it held in position, you're just gonna use these two little threaded knobs here. Just simply drop them in here. And say if you're gonna set it at 80 here, you would just get it to your 80. Tighten those down and then it's solid there. So depending on where you want your tile cut. Okay, so getting back to this, you just simply slide that off. It's got like some type of stand underneath it too. Okay, and then you're gonna get your saw blade, which is over here someplace. Here's your saw blade. And I'm pretty sure you want to put it, just take a quick look at the mat again, just make sure we put it on right. Okay, your saw blade is just going to go this way. So the arrows are going to be rotating towards you. So on the inside here, there's just simply a nut here that threads off. Let's take that off. Take off this other piece. You might have to go up to the bottom. Let me just show you. Just turn it on its side here. It falls right into place there. Put your top piece back on again. It's specially made so that piece sits on there. Just take your nut again. Drop it on. Get the hand tight at first, and this is where your tightener comes in. You just simply want to lock that there. Maybe just hold it, tighten it down. Just come off of here, it'll be easier. But okay, that just pulls off the cord actually. So there's your tool off of the thing. Just simply tighten that down. I think they'd have a brake or something that you could... Let's just look in the guide one more time. Just want to make sure this is tight enough on there. So for your saw blade, adjustments. I don't usually read the mouse, but I can read it on this because it's a blade on here. Okay, so... Turn it clockwise. Move the front. Yeah, so there isn't no break on it, so you just simply kind of tighten it. So I'm going clockwise. That would be loosening it off. So you want to tighten it, so you want it to go towards yourself. So that's like counterclockwise. I think it's a blade they want clockwise. That's why you got the arrow, so it comes. That's clockwise. But when you're tightening it, it's it's not clockwise, it's the opposite. Let's get that snugged on. So we got that in place. Next thing we're going to do is... We're going to put our guard on. It's going to go over top of this. So, just about done here, guys. Just going to loosen this off. Looks like this 
Maybe not. That looked like that'd go on like that. Okay, you can take that right out of there for now. This piece will come right out. You simply just kind of want to fasten this down onto here, which I don't have a screwdriver with me at the moment, but it's going to go down. It's going to go back on like so. Man, what is this thing? Not cooperating with me. Okay, you tighten this all in. That basically cover your. I'll just go grab. I'll just be right back. I gotta go grab a screwdriver for this. I'll be right. And we're back again. Got the screwdriver. So how this piece goes in for the guard? You simply just take your two uh, screws out of there. You're just going to feed it up to this bottom part right here, right behind the blade. You're, this is what holds the, this uh, guard in place. Just hold that up with your finger. And just thread these all the way down. Down on there. Just that one a little bit snug. I'll do my other one. Come on. You like a magnetic screwdriver? These screws always jump around on you. And now it's just going to pull itself up. I'm just going to fasten those until this gets nice and firm here. Okay, don't over tighten it. That one's snug. Get that one tightened up. Simply going to take our guard again. Put it back over top of this so it can go up and down on this. So this side's going to go through here because it holds in on this with the bolt head. You simply just want to put that back down again. Just going to line that up with your hole here. It locks in like that and you're just going to go around this way so you can see it. The other side's just going to thread onto here. You can move it up and down if you want. To loosen it off. So you can rotate it so when you're pushing your tile, so this will pop up a bit. So you don't want it overly snug, you want to be able so it pops up and down. Last thing I got to show you is two more things. These are for if I was on a proper table. These would just slip onto your legs here. And that way it can be on the edge or something like that and hold it in place. And the only other thing to show you is you can do angle cuts too. That's what these legs are for. So when this thing is, say you want to do a mitered edge on it, simply slide that back in. Take your legs here. You're just going to sit on the table here so you got your 45 degree angle. So you can do a beveled edge. If not, those that flip inside, that's where your water goes. And this is just a pusher you just put up against there so when your tile's in front, you can push it through so you don't cut your fingers off. So that's about it for the wet tile saw. So make sure you tune to my other Triple Chips Adventures vlogs. Or Adventures blog, not blogs, just blog. And we'll be showing you cutting some tile. So until next time, have a great day. It's been Triple Chip. Vlog is over.